Okay. Let's bowl some more. Yay. Yo, welcome back, Moogle. Yo, what's up, Organic Ferret? Yeah, so at the moment we uh, have to get a, an average of 250 per game. So that's why I'm resetting so much. Because we have to pretty much get like 10 strikes per game. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Fuck. Yeah, I'll just reset this one. I can only take like two spares or like two spares and then one spare in the 10th bracket. But, uh, yeah. Dude, holy fuck. I hate this game. <laughs> uh...
right? <laughs> There's only one religion. One true religion. See, once you beat the game, like, you get the special message from God himself. Congratulating you and telling you the secret password to getting into heaven. Except I accidentally screen capture it and live stream it. And therefore, God gets really pissed off. Because he's like, dude. Bruh. Like, I just accidentally broadcast proof of God. I mean, uh, you know, the devs have seen the end of the game, if there is one, really. I wouldn't be terribly surprised if after you beat the last tournament, it's just all like, cool, here's your trophy, that's it, there you go. Have fun. You can redo the league if you want, maybe. Like, uh, who knows? Who knows what it'll be like. We'll definitely have to see what happens. It'll be neat. The thing about it is, it's just like... The amount of time you spend doing all this, it just never... No matter what the ending is, it just never feels like... Enough. <laughs> when you've spent this long on a game. That's for sure. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Even just seeing some bad confetti, right? Yeah, we can we can hope. That's the thing. Th like, you can only imagine. It leaves it all up to the imagination. Until it happens. <laughs> See, what I'm thinking is you bowl against Steve Urkel. And that's the true final boss. And Steve Urkel always bowls a 301. And the real the real final solution well, that that's a really bad choice of words for <laughs> For that, the real final uh, boss, the way the real f the final strat <laughs> would be to hack your game and <laughs> and uh, and just hack God points into it and just get way more points from cheating. It's the only way. Or maybe when you get to the last tournament, the game just crashes and just doesn't let you do it. <laughs> uh, 
That would be pretty funny though. Heck. Oh, well, that's super cool. <laughs> this guy looks like a real MAGA dude. Like, he's got the sunglasses and the shitty goatee and everything. <clears throat> cool. Well, that was stupid. Hmm. Oh man, this game is so fucking boring as shit, dude. It's like, oh, yep, you fucked up three times. That's all you get. That's all you get. Game doesn't matter anymore. You can't score nearly, nearly as much as you should. Because you're dumb. You was a dumbass. Right, the game just ends with some nasty sex scene. That would be pretty funny, actually. Like you just he, your bullet your bowler just pulls out massive balls out of his pants and just starts rubbing them on the screen. <laughs> and then you just that's all you get after your after you get the trophy. You just your character just does that until you turn the game off. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. That would be totally worth playing for hundreds of hours. I don't even care. I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> and that one hooked. Cool. Oh. <laughs>
What's up, Joe Stylin? I mean, it's, they're just different games and they work differently, so I wouldn't really compare them. Wouldn't really, because the way you bowl in this game is like a lot more technical. Like you have to be a lot more precise with your motion controls. So it's not nearly as easy or uh, or is like much of a game that you can just pick up and play because it's sort of jank as well. Like Wii Sports is a much better game to just like give to anyone who has never even touched a Wii before or whatever. And Wii Sports bowling is still, you know, it's still pretty fun, but... <clears throat> the Wii, like Wii Bowling and Wii Sports is like definitely a lot more intuitive than this. This takes like a lot of fucking around and even then since the game has no tutorials or anything whatsoever like that. Um, you have to pretty much figure out how everything works in the whole game. <laughs> and the game's long as shit also, but... You do have to get to the point, like, I'm, I'm at the point where I need to bowl an average of 250 per game at the moment. <laughs> and it gets, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. Especially with the motion controls, it's kind of assy. Well, that sucks. Uh.
Very nice. And that one hooked, and yeah, cool, that fucked everything, sweet. That's awesome. I'm really hyped about when it just hooks when I'm not even trying to do it. Yeah, let's see if it was... I, yeah, I'm... Pretty sure, like, the highest we can score now is, like, probably, like, 235 or something. Like, if I could get above a 240, I would take this, but this just, just isn't a 240, even if I get all strikes here. I guess maybe it would be, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I can do that. Let's see. I forget if the ten last one counts as 10 or 20. I forget. Uh... Uh... Okay, and yeah, cool. Yeah, that is, uh, that's 1,000% dead. <laughs> Fun. That one hooked. Okay, it still worked. Nice. Oh shit. Fucking sucks so much dick, dude. <laughs> Not even gonna bother continuing that.
Yo, what's up, OPP Dak DaCosta? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're well today. Thank you for the support. All right, well, I want to at least get one game done tonight. Uh, or not tonight, rather. I've already done eight tonight that uh, we got through. I want to do at least one more before we finish up. Hopefully a couple more than that, but it really depends on how long this takes, and this could take a while. Especially if we just keep sucking ass. Cool. Uh, I love getting like three brackets in and already basically having no fucking reason to continue the game. <laughs> it's always so fucking fun, dude. Thanks for the good luck, man. I appreciate that, OPP. Thank you again for the follow, I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, this game's just super long. I mean, even if, even if like, this was almost any other bowling game, just the sheer number of games you have to play, and the fact that you have to keep up a certain score average, which is pretty high, uh, is mostly the reason why it takes a long time. It, like, the biggest reason why it takes a long time is there's just so many games you have to play. Like, I'm pretty sure you play over... at least over 300 or 350 games of bowling. That you have to keep above a certain average score. Like, in each league you're in. So yeah, it goes pretty hard. This game doesn't fuck around. <laughs> This game goes ham. Ah, that sucks. That one hooked a lot. Cool. Not even gonna bother continuing this. Literally no fucking reason to continue when I'm only like a quarter of the way through the game. And I've already used both of the fucking spares I can get.
Yeah, so basically there's four leagues, and the first league, I mean, besides you having to learn the game and learn how to actually bowl the way you want, uh, the game doesn't give you any tutorials or anything, like there's just nothing that teaches you how to play anything in the game. Uh, especially hooking, like the game specifically, even in the manual, has absolutely nothing whatsoever that tells you how to hook your ball. And I kind of have a slight idea maybe of how to do it consistently, but uh, either way, the way I've found seems to be really touchy, which isn't super surprising for motion controls. But anyway, so with all that aside, with you having to learn the game with like no help from the game whatsoever, um, First league, you have to get an average of 179 per game, and then uh, second league, you have to get an average of 209 per game, and then in the third league, which is the league I'm in now, you have to have an average of 249 per game. And then once you get to Pro League, you have to have an average of 250 per game. But then there's like several, several tournaments in Pro League. Like Pro League is just tournaments and nothing else. Which I think, te like, and, well, so it's that plus uh, the oil patterns in Pro League are, I think, mostly different for every tournament you do. So you have to kind of fuck with that too, which is awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, and it's just long as shit. Like, the first three leagues each have 69 games each. 69 games that are required. That's assuming you don't do any extra ones for fun, or assuming you don't practice any games or anything like that. And then Pro League is even longer than a single season because there's something like 16 or 18 tournaments and tournaments have five games each. And again, that whole time I have to keep up 250 average the entire Pro League. <clears throat> Okay, and there you go. Fun. So yeah, there's just a bunch of factors that make it really stupid. Like the motion controls are a little jank, and then the game offers you absolutely nothing in terms of help besides like giving you a small tip on the current oil pattern you're about to bowl on. Like, that's it. It doesn't even tell you how to bowl properly, which is, like, not very intuitive. It's just super shit. I mean, it's not even really all that bad. It's just super garbage game design. It's... It's just a shitty port of... I'm pretty sure this game came out before the Wii version on, like, PlayStation 2 or something. And that version has buttons and shit and actually useful feedback that kind of lets you know if you're actually bowling well or not. <laughs> In this game, you just kind of hope that your throws that you do are good enough.
Yeah, and I mean, that's like sort of the idea, but, um... Yeah, you have to bowl, like, over half of the game, you have to bowl 250 and above on average, which is, like, 10, 9 or 10 strikes at least per, like, every single game. Which is annoying. It's just not even very fun at that point. <laughs> at that point, it's, at, at this point, it's just feeling, like, purely, almost purely luck whether or not I end up getting enough strikes to uh, get a good enough score. Like, I can get sort of alright strike strats, but yeah. It's kind of tough. And then, especially if I end up like hooking a ball more than I'm meaning to or something, then that's a super easy way to completely fuck up everything. If I get an open bracket, like if I don't get a spare, too. I'm pretty sure if I get an open bracket and one spare, that's also not enough. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's definitely not the type of game that you would just like... ...pick up and play and, you know. Like, even the quick play mode... Um, you still have to deal with like all the stupid intricacies of the game. The only thing that's nice about quick play mode is you don't have to deal with the fact that your character... Like, so in career mode, your character has stats. Which is also just another really great thing about starting off the game is... Your character just has really shitty stats, which includes like an accuracy stat and... Arm strength stat. Another shit. <laughs> Book control stat. Stuff like that. And, um, so you have to build those as you bowl, and yeah, that's always fun. So there's just like a thousand things kind of making this last way longer. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that's the thing. I wish it was just straight up, like, just beat everybody... Like, just beat all the opponents, beat their score, that would be great. Like, especially if they just started bowling better. Like, they don't even bowl that well in the Pro League is the thing that's really stupid. Is like, pretty much, the computers hardly ever bowl higher than 250, so... You're just going for this arbitrary score. It's really dumb. And that one hooked. Well, that one at least got a really lucky strike. Let's go. Yeah. Well, and the thing about it is, is like this third league is only one point below the average you need for pro league. Which is like sort of understandable, but it's also just like... Again, like, you have to bowl over half of the game perfectly. <laughs> or not perfectly, like, 250 and above, which is really shit. That's super annoying. Like, it's really fucking annoying to, uh, only have, like, three chances to mess up in an entire game.
Yeah, I forget. Have I already had two? I don't think so. I think this is my second spare. I might be wrong though, I forget. I'll see in the score if it's good enough. <laughs> as long as I get like two f above 240 for this, I don't even care. Because my average is decently high enough that that wouldn't even drop it by much, if at all. So... Okay. <laughs> the thing that's super dumb is like I'm pretty sure even pro bowlers don't really typically bowl 250 on average <laughs> for like their whole career or whatever. God fucking fuck. I think that might still be okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. That's fine. As long as it's above 240, that's really all I care about at the moment. Because our average isn't too low. So we're not having to really worry about that as much at the given moment. Yep, I got three spares there, and that's still not <laughs> not 249. But yeah, thankfully you can save scum, which is huge. Like, that saves a massive amount of time. It's still hard as fuck, but it's at least much better than having to uh, deal with, like, if you don't make the average you need by the end of the season, then... Uh, you get sent back to the beginning of the season, or if you're below a certain average, then you get sent back to the previous league, because fuck you. That's what you get for not bowling good enough. And yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, save scumming saves a massive amount of time. Like, an, in, like, completely ridiculous amount of effort. Fuck. Damn it, dude. Uh. So they really did expect people to play this for just like 7 billion hours, basically. Or they just expected people to be that good. They're like, oh, well, the real pros will fucking... They'll get this shit. Yeah, no, I mean, the thing about it is, is, like, the tournaments that you do, um, like, a majority of the time, the AI doesn't bowl even quite, sometimes they don't even bowl, like, 200, you know, sometimes they'll bowl even shittier than 150 if you, if, if they're just bowling that shitty sometimes, but, um, You, you, on the other hand, have to keep an average of fucking 250, though. Doesn't matter how everyone else in the league against you plays. You just have to... Have to do it. It's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> it's like, really, the, it, there might as, I might as well be doing all of these games without any opponents, because it, they pretty much don't matter at all. It's pretty awesome. It's just a whole bunch of extra time I have to sit there and wait. <laughs> oh, my feet.
Okay. Uh, got the aim direct. Let's try that. Fuck it. That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay. <coughs> okay. Ah, oh, we're facing the MAGA guy again. I forget, do we just face him the whole entire League night? I guess so. He even has a red ball. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, I hooked that one, dude. And that wasn't even a good enough hook to get that either. It looked like it totally could have been, but it just wasn't. That sucks. That's totally, that, they should have totally just given me that strike. This game's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, sometimes the bowlers bowl a lot better than other days. I don't really know what it is. It seems like today they're not bowling quite as good. This guy's bowling all right, but some of the fuck like the last tournament I was in, they were not bowling well at all, like at all. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was. Cool. Well, that's dead. Yeah, hopefully I can get another game or two done here before I finish up the stream. Can't go on forever, sadly. Mostly just because my feet are uh, hurting a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit.
Well, that's ass. That was a little bit better than I thought because that one pin fell down, but I don't even care. I don't even care. God damn it, dude. So hyped about all these, like, fucking bracket two spares. It's like, yep, okay, second throw. Already can only fuck up one more time through for the whole rest of the game. If I fuck up one more time, well, great. It's probably gonna happen before I even get halfway through the game anyway. So then I'll have to bowl perfectly for probably the rest of the whole fucking game. So shitty. Ugh. Uh, yeah, so far. So far it's the longest. I imagine it'll probably be one of the longest out of all of them, but... It's hard to say. Alright, so let's try... Something a little bit more like this. It really entirely depends on how long it takes us to get through the rest of the games that we need to average 250 on. And that kind of just depends on our luck, for the most part. Our luck and what I happen to choose to throw. Dude, this is fucking awesome. so fucking awesome, man. Hmm. What's up, Apple? How's it going? This is what you get? That's funny. Yeah, I think the recommended streams usually mostly have to do with, like, who you watch. Um, and then, like, sometimes if those people host me, or if, uh, or if just for some reason people who watch my channel like to watch their channels, then yeah. I think that's usually how channels get recommended on Twitch. Fucking pleasure, man. Yeah, I'm doing well, dude. Thanks for asking. Doing pretty well today. 
I would say. Controls aren't really super bad, but um, the game doesn't have any tutorials or anything, so you have to figure out how all of it works. And the manual doesn't tell you anything besides what the buttons do. They work alright for the most part, though. Like, if they had bothered to include any sort of comprehensive instructions, I think that uh, this game would have been, like, 15 to 20 times better. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing is like it really isn't that bad they just they just uh did not even bother like the game design is just really shit basically and i mean besides that it's just really long also but that i don't think is really a big deal necessarily <clears throat> Like, even if you were bowling perfectly the entire time, it still takes a while to get through the game, for sure. <laughs> so, I don't really care that much about that. We're at the point, though, where we have to, uh... We have to bowl an average of 250 per game. Which... It's hard as fuck. <laughs> or at least relatively hard as fuck. Is this the second? I think this is the second one I've gotten, right? Might, this might be the third. Uh, so I can only get like two spares, basically. <laughs> and like I have to get like ten, like nine or ten strikes at least. It's pretty fucked. This game does not fuck around. Given the bowling GPA, yeah, it's mostly that. That's the thing. That's like 90% of the reason why it takes so long. Is because not only that, like, it, it definitely makes the game take like twice as long. It's definitely tough. I, uh, I, uh, look forward to seeing someone else try and beat this someday on Wii. I'll be there the whole time. I'll, I'll revel in being able to see someone else do this. 
And the thing is, I bet you, the thing is, I suck, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone could do this a lot faster than I am, but it's such a bitch. Like, just having the patience to learn how to play the game anyway is such... It, it took me a good amount of fucking patience. <laughs> Sucks ass. But it'll be nice once we beat the game, like... It'll definitely be a really rewarding feeling, I guess. I mean, not necessarily rewarding, but more like... Fucking... It's like being released from hell, literally. Like, if Satan was like, you get a second chance. I feel like being nice. That's what beating this game is gonna be like. <laughs> Hopefully once COVID stops being a thing in the US, which who knows when the fuck that's gonna happen. Hopefully I'll go bowling at some point around then. <laughs> Um, so this is technically like the 11th, but I, uh, I think maybe, or either that or 10th. Either way, uh, I've been, I split today's part up, or it's today's, uh, games up into two parts, but yeah. I've put like around five-ish hours per session or something. A little bit more for some others. Like one session was not, I think it was only like two and a half hours. <laughs> one thing that's funny is like there's a YouTube playlist of all of the, uh, all of the games I've completed so far. And if somebody were to like watch that playlist just all the way through, there would just be like three or four straight days of Brunswick Pro Bowling. <laughs> and that just kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Like just for three days straight, without a single pause, you would have just bowling and bowling and bowling. <laughs> Never ending bowling. <laughs> I think it would just be such a ridiculous meme. Uh... MMO. I think that, like, dude, on honestly, if they... Oh, fuck, I did not mean to adjust that. Damn it. Uh, if... If they really tried, I bet you they could pull it off. I think it would be cool if there was, like, at least, yeah, some something where you could just... Like, be a bowler, but explore around the overworld. Like... I don't, know. I don't know if GTA has bowling. There's a couple of games that have bowling mini games though that are pretty much like just like that though. Except I would want the focus to be bowling, not like Tekken with all of its bowling games. I would want it to be bowling, but then also like GTA with the car jacking and stuff. Like, quest lines. <laughs> Someone should just mod Skyrim to be a bowling game. That would be one hell of a feat. I mean, dude, to be fair, if there was good enough online bowling games, I bet you people would play them. Are there, like, any bowling games at all for Switch? There probably are, but, like, are they any good? Because that would... I feel like that would be kind of enjoyable, but... 
Um, yeah. It's golf caddy driving, right? A bowling game, but with golf mini game. That's better than the actual bowling. That's the kind of game I want to make. I was talking to my friend the other day about like uh, we like we just like uh, Guitar Hero a decent amount, and I was thinking about how it'd be kind of neat to try and make a Guitar Hero. Well, not a Guitar Hero game, but a Guitar Hero like game uh, where it's like a rhythm game. But it's also a fighting game where, like, you uh, you have, like, the rhythm notes and all that shit you have to do. But then there's a joystick or something on your controller, so then you have to do, like, dodging strats and shit. And then, uh, you know, like, kill people with music or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> do something. Uh, I think that would be kind of neat, especially, like, multiplayer. You could have, like, some possibly some pretty fun stuff going on like a fighting a fighting rhythm game though yeah like and not like not like that one zelda game that was a rhythm game <laughs> but but like um but sort of like fighting games sort of like uh, i don't know like mortal kombat style almost where like you have to kind of real time mess around and fucking combo and shit i don't know i think that'd be kind of neat there is Brutal Legend, although Brutal Legend isn't quite as much rhythm as I would be wanting. I would want it to be, like, a pretty big part of it. If I were to make it myself, anyway. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, the uh, Cadence of Hyrule. I was just like, well, there is kind of a rhythm fighting game. Cadence of Hyrule sort of is. It's not really necessarily a fighting game, but you do fight stuff in it to the rhythm of music. Which, I mean, kind of, you could... I don't know. I don't know if that would necessarily be entirely how I would go about doing a game like that. But I was just thinking, like, something like a joystick, so... One thing that I was thinking of is if you guys have ever played Red Steel for Wii, um, there's like sword fighting sections where you have to like dodge from side to side and fight with your sword. But just kind of imagine that, but like with Guitar Hero fighting and I don't know, maybe like Yakuza fighting or Shenmue fighting where you have to like just get super good at like learning fucking patterns and other shit. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of neat. I think that'd be cool. Also, thank you for the follow, Apple. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the Apple support. another game done and that was a good score cool I think we missed yeah just one one strike missed I've only bowled one perfect game so far only one but that's like the third 279 that I've gotten 
which 279 is like pretty much that's only like one pin or one strike missed so basically second to best score not really like i think you can get like 299 and a couple different variations of a little bit lower than 290 but, or two or 300 but anyway exit to make sure we save so we can save scum the next match if i don't exit there i have to get the next game like first try on the average or else there will be hell to pay anyway i'm gonna sit for a second one moment yeah my like since we play so many games um it definitely helps to get a more games above the score that we need so it'll build our score a little bit, but that probably literally... I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this league night, even though we've had all over 250, uh, sorry, 250 games so far, I think. Uh, well, actually, I think the other one was 245. Well, still, um, I think it might only... Depending, like, I guess depending on what score we get here. If we get, like, another 279, I think it would only raise by maybe one point anyway. So... Like, if we were to, say, get, like, a 230 or something in one of these games coming up, especially in the last few weeks, I should be able to take a couple of those and not have my average just completely tank. So, and that's kind of nice. Like, if I get enough games under my belt, I shouldn't need to worry too much about, um, about my average dropping a fuckload. Because I definitely don't want to get to the point where I need to get more than 250 on average per game for the rest of whatever amount of time. Because fuck that. Fuck that with a rake. So, we're in the third league out of four, which uh, we're in advanced league right now. Once we get to Pro League, Pro League is just all tournaments. And I'm pretty sure there's at least like 18 or so tournaments at the least, if not more. So that's fun. <laughs> and um, each tournament is like five matches, which isn't too bad. But um, when you have like... When, <laughs> that's like 90 matches if it's 18 tournaments, so it's quite a bit. That's like a little bit longer than each season is. Or each uh, other league is, rather. <clears throat> Dang it. Yeah, and I don't even know if that's necessarily the end for sure because there's like literally no YouTube videos of the ending of this game on the internet um, as far as I can tell I've not been able to find any I've been able to find very close to the end but not the end because there's this like one person who got through most of the tournaments in Pro League I think but uh <clears throat> But yeah, so the goal at the moment is to beat all of the pro tournaments because I'm pretty sure, like, I'm 99.9 .9 to, like, the 10 nines. Pretty sure that that's the last league. And, um, like, I don't know if there's some super crazy shit that happens for the last few tournaments. Very possible. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's see. But either way, um, yeah, it's going to be a little while before we get to that point, though, because we're still on week four out of nine in advanced league, because we have to keep up an average of 250 per game, so, or 249 per game, rather, so, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks with how many resets we've had to do, basically, so. Kind of just how it is. 
just takes a long ass time. Unless we get lucky. World's first, perhaps. I don't think it'll be. Th I don't think I'll be the first person who's beat this game or anything, but <laughs> maybe the first person who has like a full playthrough on YouTube, like all the way full playthrough. But yeah, assuming that other guy also maybe like I don't know if they ever. Like, perhaps maybe they did post a video of it, but maybe there was some, like, music that was copyrighted and they removed it. Or maybe they just removed the video for whatever reason. Or maybe they have it privated or unlisted or something. But I'd assume that they either just said fuck it or there's something that's just really hard that happens at the end. <laughs> And to be, to be honest, if we have to even bowl a perfect game at the end, I'm willing to do that. <laughs> I'm willing to grind that hard if it's the very last tournament I have to get like 300s. I'll do it. I'll hate every second of it, but I'll do it. <laughs> So I think that was the second spare I got. If it's the third, then we're fucked, but... Uh... Yeah, fuck it, let's go with that. Oh, that's fucked. Now, I don't know, let's see what score I get. I'm pretty sure I can't even get above... Let's see, <laughs> what bracket are we on? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is going to be nearly good enough. Yeah, eight. Uh, so if we got 80 more on top of that, could we even do that? I don't know if getting a, t a strike at the end even gives you 20. I think it only gives you 10, maybe. Well, no. I forget what it gives you. I don't know. We'll try for more strikes still and see what our score is. If we miss this though, like if we miss one of these, that is it for sure. <clears throat> if it's above like 240, I'll probably consider taking it, not gonna lie. I don't know if you can score 230, like above 240 with three spares before the 10th bracket. Not quite positive on that. Well, there you go. That's, that's our answer now. <laughs> God damn it. I definitely have not gotten tired of this intro at all after having watched it probably over 200 times or something. <laughs> Never gets old. I will defeat the MAGA guy.
Nice. Very lucky, nice. Yes. What's up, by the way, Sudan, uh, Sudanese youth, how's it going? I hope you're well. Yeah, this game is super long and also fairly difficult. Just so you know, I haven't been playing this for 62 hours, or sorry, I haven't been playing this for 64 hours, though, no. I've, I've, uh, collectively over the multiple streams I've done, I've played it for 64 hours total. <clears throat> This works. Might have been a bad idea to do that second right tap. Probably was. Probably was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't fuck up again. I'll never be able to watch the big Lebowski ever again. So I haven't like I'm prob I know it's blasphemous to say this, but I I and the thing is I've been recommended to watch it for a very long time. But I still haven't watched it yet. <laughs> and I should, because like <laughs> like I've heard it's pretty good, but yeah. I definitely need to watch it at some point.
Nice. I think this might still be... I forget if this is doable. That might have been the last possible strike I could miss and might have fucked everything. Let's see, what is the score? 219. Yeah. Like, I think at best I can get like 239, right? Something like that. What is that going to be? Uh, I'll just take it. Fuck it. My average is decently high enough that it won't be a huge deal if I take that. <clears throat> Alright, let's go check out the average. See where it's sitting. Yep, still at 258. So that did literally nothing. Like, those three games combined did nothing to my average. <laughs> so that's nice. Definitely don't want to get too many of those sub 249 games, though. Alright, yeah, I think we'll try and get through one more set of League Night. Like, one, the last one of Week 4, and then that'll probably be it for tonight, because... Yeah. <laughs> like, I could try and go... I don't know. If I just for some fucking reason feel so inclined to play even more, I kind of doubt I will, though. Especially because I have a feeling I'll probably not even finish this league night. I'll probably just get big, like get annoyed and just be done. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. Dang it. Yeah, you have to maintain an average to go on to the next league. <laughs> or else it just restarts you at the beginning of the league. No matter how well you've done in the, turn <laughs> in the tournament at the end, it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> And then if you're, uh, like, it, since I'm in advanced league, I have to keep above an average of 210, or else I get kicked back into intermediate league, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so, like, yeah, if you, if you fuck up enough and you're not save scumming, you could legitimately get sent back and have to redo another 69 fucking games. It's pretty great. It's fucking awesome. The, the, the devs were super cool. To put it one way. <laughs> They're super cool people. Definitely not sadistic at all. God damn it. I don't want to reset too many on too much on these like spares on the first thing, but Seems like the worst combination. What's up, Amber? Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Um, yeah, like, so I, I would say the motion controls are probably, like, they're okay. The, it, like, really, I wouldn't, I, I would say probably most of the people who've reviewed it and said it has bad motion controls is because they're just, I don't know, I guess they're bad, but it's mostly because they're not intuitive, really, and the game has no no tutorials at all like it gives you zero indication on how to do anything right so you just have to figure it out <laughs> and that that includes that includes uh hooking the ball it gives you absolutely zero indication on how to do that even in the manual it doesn't tell you how to bowl correctly it doesn't tell you how to do fucking hooks it's great it's it's a fucking mess and uh and it's really hard too. Like, um, I'm in the third league right now. The first league, you have to have an average of 
179 per game to move on to the next league. So the first part of the game, oh, and you also have stats, so that's another thing. But for the first part of the game, you basically have to deal with learning the game. And then you also have to deal with your character having just garbage stats. So even if you were totally making the right throws, you could still entirely miss because the game's just awesome like that. And then once you finally have decent enough stats to not worry about that, then like, it's pretty much, I don't know. The thing about it is, is, um, yeah, like since they don't tell you how hooking works, which is like a really important thing in bowling, um, I pretty much just have to throw these straight shots. Like these, this is pretty much the most consistent strat I have right now is just finding a good straight spot to throw, uh, attempted strikes pretty much. Because, like, if I was able to get a really nice, consistent hook on my ball from a certain spot, I think, like, physics-wise, I would be a lot more likely to get the ball, like, the pins to freak out all over the place and knock everything down. But yeah, it's, it's just bad game design. Like, I wouldn't even say the motion controls are that bad. They're just, like, not intuitive whatsoever. Especially for, like, a lot of people... A lot of people, I would say, probably like how I did when I started this game. They'll try and bowl like Wii Sports, where you just kind of just fucking try and chuck the ball to get a good amount of, um, to get a good amount of like speed and strength on your ball or whatever. But like, if you do that in this game, then your uh, your ball will pretty much just always hook super, super, super hard to the left. Like, it'll just hook insanely hard to the left. Like, all basically all the way to the point where it will not even touch a single pin if you just try and do, like, this the whole time. It's, it's, yeah. So, I think that's probably mostly the problem, is, like, you really have to spend a lot of time learning how to play the game. And I think most people would not even want to bother. <laughs> But, kind of depends. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. So, um, I forget if I finished what I was saying about the averages. So, the first league, you need an average of 179. And then, in the second league, you need an average of 209. And now we're in the third league, and we need an average of 249 per game. Which basically means we need, like, 10 strikes every game. It's pretty great. It's pretty much just like bowl perfect for over half of the game. Um, there is another league, but that league only requires a 250 average instead of 249. <laughs> so it's pretty much the same difficulty. But it's still like over, like, since there's so many fucking games, it takes so long to get through all of it anyway. And then you spend over half of that having to bowl like 10 strikes every game <laughs> it's just the game design is horrendous just to, to put it one way <laughs> it's just this is just not how you this, this is not how you do games at least if unless you want your players to just suffer if you're just like yep yeah you wanted a challenge you want to bowl like a pro well you asked for it runs like pro bowl it's pretty ridiculous. I'm hoping this will be the hardest bowling game, though. I don't know if it will be, but I'm hoping. <laughs> It'll hopefully at least be the longest. Because, yeah, this is still, like... It's still going to take us quite a while to get through Advanced League. And then Pro League is going to take a long time, too. And Pro League is just even longer than... Uh, any of the other leagues because Pro League is all tournaments and it's like 18 or something tournaments. Cool. Well, this is fucked. Um... <clears throat> Uh, 
And the tournaments are five games per tournament. So, it, like, at the least, I'm pretty sure there's at least 18 tournaments, if not more. So, yeah, it's like 90 plus games that I still have to keep that average up. It's so ridiculous. <clears throat> and at this point, it just mostly feels like a little bit of... Like, it's like 50-50 luck and, and skill at this point, I feel. Like, the skill to be able to line up and throw the ball how I want it to be thrown, and then, like, 50% luck on whether or not that's just going to get super lucky and get a strike. So, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. It's going to be good once we're done with this game, though. Because then I don't ever have to touch this piece of shit ever again. <laughs> I'll maybe mess around with it at some point after I beat the game and see if I can find some like menuing glitches or something because if we could find skips in this game you could literally save like probably I mean, potentially days worth of gameplay like even if you played the game totally perfect the entire time and didn't have to uh replay any matches or anything it still would take so fucking long because you have like there's at least probably 350 or 300 or so games you have to play which is just ridiculous <laughs> and you can skip a couple of games but you still have to keep your average up and if you skip any game It'll count that game as zero, <laughs> like zero points towards your average, so it just fucks your average. Yeah, it was like 29, I think it was 29.99. It wasn't quite 30, it wasn't quite 40, but it was 29.99. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I may have, if I remember the commercial correctly. Either way, 30 bucks is steep. <laughs> is very steep for a game of this experience. Thankfully, it's not nearly that price nowadays. Even despite ridiculous fucking game prices today. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's pretty funny though. It was still like half the price or something on PlayStation. <laughs> It was like fourteen ninety nine on PlayStation. It's like, oh, that's cool. And it's definitely like PlayStation version. I don't know. Like the thing about the PlayStation version and PSP version and basically any of the versions that use buttons is there's probably a good bit more that's actually in the game. Like, because uh, there's like little meters that come up whenever you like to adjust your power or your. I think you can also adjust how much hook you have and whatever. And it's sort of like Mario Golf where you just need to time it right. And for Wii, they're just like, ah, motion controls are fine. That's good enough. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's just so unnecessarily difficult for, uh, what it is, in my opinion. Dang it. I'm also not bowling the best because I'm a little tired. <laughs> but, uh, And that's just like obviously just some of the problems with the game like I would say the game when you're not needing to get a specific score to move on to the next league like if you're if you're not caring about what score you're getting I think it's fine but it's yeah it still takes some time to learn how to play though which is like a big issue in my opinion <laughs> like it takes definitely way more than 
like way more time than most people would want to take to sit down and learn how to play a game especially if you sit down with like friends like you're play like if you're trying to look for a good bowling Wii game for a party you certainly would not want to pick this game unless ever, you want just I mean it's I, like one one thing about it is is when everybody's experiencing the jank it's not as bad but it's still like you're good luck bowling above like 150 once you start playing this game like right at the start good luck man <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> I probably should have thrown that differently. Yeah, I think that was my third spare. Oh man. Next stream we're gonna hit 69 hours though, guys. That's gonna be pretty hype. That's gonna be a good meme for like three seconds. <laughs> Sorry about the coughing. Charge my phone. Okay. Oh, nice. Diablo 2 is sick. Have they ever remade Diablo 1? Diablo 1 would be kind of neat to remake. I like Diablo 1 as well. I thought that was good. Like, I thought they were both pretty good games. Yeah, I'm not too surprised that they're remaking it, though. <laughs> I guess out of all the games they could pick, it wouldn't be one of the worst. Hopefully they do it alright, though. I do like how... Um, they remade Warcraft 3, and then that hype just died out as, like, the instant it dropped. Everyone's like, yep, this is shit. This is awful. Not even gonna bother. And remastered StarCraft. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I did see uh, those two remakes. It'd be interesting if they remade Diablo 1, though. I think Diablo 1 has a kind of neat story. Like, it's just kind of neat that you just kind of go and... Just fucking scour down into a fucking tower and you go and kill Satan. <laughs> yeah, the thing about Diablo 2 is I'm pretty sure you don't even end the game beating Diablo, right? Like, you... You eat some, like, completely different boss as the final boss. In Diablo 1, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they're both pretty crazy. That pin was going nuts. Oh, God. Yeah, I forget, isn't Diablo 4 that one that's gonna be on mobile? <laughs> Don't you guys have phones? 
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the good old times. <laughs> I just love that, dude. That's such a fucking hilarious response. <laughs> such a meme, dude. Such a meme. That was walked back. Oh, thank God. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Not that I really care that much anyway, but I, <laughs> I thought that was amazing. I sincerely thought that was a pretty fucking incredible live event, like thing to happen live on camera. That was great. That's awesome. No, I mean, that's. I think it's definitely a much better move to go to PC for it. It's like that Commander Keen game that was recently made. It's like nothing like Commander Keen. And while the Diablo 4 might have been planned to be just like Diablo, like. A lot of people, especially the people who probably grew up playing Diablo and actually, you know, want a Diablo sequel. <laughs> Probably don't want to fucking play it on a goddamn phone. Especially like if especially if their phone isn't very beefy or whatever, then like I don't know how hard it would be to run Diablo 4 very well on like an Android phone or whatever, but I don't think it would I doubt it would run incredibly well. Especially if you're doing any online stuff. Cause like, I don't know. It just, yeah. I just, uh, I don't know. There's plenty of interesting mobile games, but... I don't know. It'd be like putting almost anything that's just solely on the P PC, only on phone. Like, why not both, you know? If you're going to do it, why not both, you know? I mean, there's plenty of reasons why not both, but, like... <laughs> Stuff like, you know, like Fortnite, for example, it eventually got a phone port, right? And... I've heard that, you know, it's not too bad. Not that I've played it, nor do I even ever want to play Fortnite on a phone. But, you know, like... I'm sure it's not insanely terrible. Could be on both. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think that would be kind of neat. If it was on both, then that would be just the best of both worlds, kind of. Other than for Blizzard. <laughs> or whoever's making the game, I guess. If, uh, if the costs don't... And, or, you know, if it doesn't end up paying for itself. Nice. Well, this was pretty decently done. Are we going to get the second perfect game? <laughs> oh, that one hooked. Hey! <laughs> second perfect game! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Perfect way. Perfect way to wrap up some gameplay. I don't know if I'll wrap it up yet, but that's awesome. <laughs> that's the second perfect game, though. Not the first, but the second, so... That should hopefully raise my average by a good little bit, though. So 
that's pretty sick. Reputation increased by 19, it better. <laughs> the thing that's funny is like my my reputation stat has been like the highest it could be for a long time now. <laughs> like you can only have the stat go up to 320 for some reason. And uh, I've had that stat for just ever. It's pretty funny. Like if if I didn't, if it didn't have a cap, my reputation would probably be like a thousand by now. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure for the last tournaments, like in Pro League, I think you only need like, sorry, I say like a bunch. I think you only need uh, 90 reputation or something <laughs> to get in. So it's pretty funny. So like all of the, pro to, I think all of the Pro League tournaments are just something like 90 reputation required. Okay. Is it Betty White? If it's Betty White, don't tell me. I mean, you can feel free to tell me, though. That's okay. I appreciate you asking, though, Amber. Thank you. Oh, it was Larry King, huh? Wow. Yeah, that is really sad. Larry King was a good TV host. Dang. He did... I mean, the thing about Larry King is he's looked old forever. I think he's looked like he was going to die for probably a very long time now. Not to be, like, completely tasteless at the moment, but, like, he's pretty old. I'm not too surprised. But that is a shame. Larry King was super cool. You seem pretty cool anyway. I've watched a good little bit of, uh, like a good amount of Larry King interviews. And, um, yeah, he's a very, he's definitely a very decent interviewer. I've watched, a, there's definitely been a lot of really interesting interviewers, or interviews he's done. Like that Seinfeld one. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> We were the top show on Fox. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I think my favorite moment, though, like, easily, easily my favorite uh, Larry King moment was when he was on, uh, when he was, <laughs> he was on Dave Rubin's live show, and he just took a phone call from his son for like 15 minutes straight just live on air not giving a fuck and then his son's like oh, oh you're live on this oh well i mean i'll get going soon if you want and he's just like no no just tell me about your day what's going on <laughs> it was great it was top tier dude dave rubin's a fucking idiot <laughs> oh my god it was so fucking funny Dude, that was so good. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, probably my favorite moment. <laughs> favorite uh, Larry King moment, probably. One of them. <laughs> uh, just the most alpha move ever. I can only I can only aspire to be as alpha as Larry King. <laughs> okay. Um all right. Yeah, that shit was fun, dude. Oh my god. So I think I already took two spares. I haven't really I'm not very good at paying attention when I talk a lot, but Oh, well, actually, let's see. Did we only have one spare? I guess we've only had one, huh? Maybe. 
As far as the score goes right now, it looks like with the score we have so far, it's one. I'm just, I'm just so bad at paying attention when I'm talking a lot, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm having a good time. Yeah, that's a shame, though. That is a shame. Dang it. Yeah, that one hooked. I did not want that one to hook. Oh yeah, no, I mean, that's pretty surprising. I honestly thought he was a lot older, like, right now. Um, yeah, he's always had that kind of old dude look. But, you know, it's like, it was, it was his image. <laughs> I can, I can get behind it. I can, uh, I can respect it. Not like he could change it anyway, <laughs> really. No, probably not a lot he could do about that. I don't know why, but now all I can think about is B. Larry King from from B movie. So many people say that B movie is a bad movie, but I just I can't agree with them at all. It's such the comedy in that movie is really decent. <laughs> It's probably one of my favorite animated movies, mostly because of just how little it takes itself seriously at all. It's just like, nah, this is mostly just about a bunch of stupid jokes. A bunch of really dumb B jokes. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> Through love, anything is possible. <laughs> oh man, I was talking to my friend, um... It's kind of a shame that the B-movie memes are kind of dead now. Like, they're not nearly as big as they used to be, probably. I mean, I, I th I'd say it's fair to say that. And, uh, but I was thinking it'd be pretty great to just make, like, a Pink Floyd out Like, a Pink Floyd-inspired album, but with the lyrics just as the B-movie. <laughs> B-movie script. Because everybody was doing that B-movie script meme for a while. God, when was that? I don't even remember when that started. That was that was a long time ago. Oh man. Like if I just had any musical talent, <laughs> I would do it. See, what would be even better is if we could get, like, actual Pink Floyd. Like, get everybody who is still alive from, uh... I think most of the people who were in Pink Floyd are still alive. Uh... Like, if the one reunion... <laughs> the one true reunion... These are the things I would do if I had a billion dollars. The movie was a Tumblr meme. Yeah, yeah, there were a good amount of, like... I'm not sure exactly when the B-movie script meme started. But yeah, B-movie was definitely a good meme for a while. I just know there was definitely one point in time, on YouTube at least, where everybody was like, this, you know, but reading the entire B-movie script, or whatever. <laughs> one of my favorite mod- I don't know, not really even a favorite mod of mine, but one mod in Skyrim I downloaded one time was the entire B-movie script, just in a book. <laughs> just in a- Just in a book. And that's it. It's just the whole script. And it takes, like, a couple of seconds for the book to open because it's several, several pages. And, like, none of the Skyrim books are nearly that long. <laughs> it's pretty fucking hilarious.
Yeah, that's the thing. I definitely... I don't know if I watched his show enough to say whether or not, like, to even know a lot about his political stances, so... I couldn't say I was, like, a huge Larry King fan or anything anyway. But I've definitely watched a couple of interviews and I thought they were interesting. But, uh... Yeah. I think I was just a little bit too young to get into much Larry King when he was, like... I don't know exactly when his prime was, but I don't know if it was necessarily when I was growing up. Maybe. I feel like it was a little bit before that, though. Like, 90s, probably. Seems like it. Probably longer than that, but I don't know. I'm not... I'm... I'm not super pop culturally intelligent. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's a shame though. Um, at least he made it to 2021. He made it to the inauguration, so there you go. That's at least something, man. That's at least something. You gotta, you gotta feel just a little bit bad for the people that died in 2020. Not that no, not that anybody in here isn't. I'm just saying, like, man. Last four years were shit. <laughs> And it's probably not necessarily going to be a whole lot better, but there's going to be god, goddamn, at least some shit that's so much better. Guys. At least reading the news every day isn't going to be just like, what absolutely stupid shit did we do today? <laughs> just the, what completely fucking irrational and dumb shit happened today? Under the government. At least, hopefully, it'll be a little bit less, so... Hopefully. That's a good plan. Yeah, hopefully, uh... Hopefully the Democrats will put a good... Good amount of use into... The influence they have right now. We'll have to see how that goes. Damn it. I think that's not going to be good enough. Dang it. Am I dumb? I might be dumb. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not good enough. <laughs> I think we've hit a little bit too many spares. Yeah, hopefully he will be able to hear us. Dang it.
Alright, I'll try aiming a little more left here. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> that did not help much at all. Yo, what up, Cheeky? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, another day, another, another, uh, yeah, <laughs> another, another ball on the ground, balls to the ground, man. It's balls to the walls and alley and ground and, and stuff. I don't know. I'm sorry. I've been streaming for a while. Hope you're doing well, Cheeky. Hopefully we can get another game or two done here before we finish up. My feet are hurting me. Not as much as I would expect for standing this long, though. I've been standing for a long time. <laughs> like a pretty unreasonable amount of time. Shit. Not gonna get any thrombrosis, right? We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, yeah, worst worst case scenario, my arm will hurt tomorrow, maybe. <sighs> or maybe like somewhere around here from doing this forever. <laughs> nice. Well, I hope that's going well, man. Routing's a lot of fun. Dang it, dude. I just want to get lucky and not have to think about anything and just win. <laughs> Why can't that be the way it is? Hopefully that works. I have a feeling like it won't. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go. That didn't work out. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this is the second spare then. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to fuck some shit up here. And get like... Uh, let's see, six, seven, eight. Nine, 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 nine. Fucking six or, like, five or six strikes in a row here or something. <laughs> Uh... 
Dang it. Uh, I mean, in the last couple of days, I think it's been a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know. The thing about it is, is what I've heard about a lot of the stuff, like how SRC was set up to begin with, was not incredibly, the, like, the most incredibly well organized. So, even the people who came in to do site moderation later, uh... It wasn't, like, incredibly easy to change things in, like, how the this website was set up, just because doing that could really fuck shit up, like, fairly easily. From what I understand, I don't know, I've only talked briefly with some people about this. Not that I've been interested in doing it myself or anything, but, um, yeah, like, it wouldn't surprise me if they just have to kind of clean up how everything works but then also not completely change they probably don't want to change how src looks too much but honestly i mean i don't know they could even look into probably making an entirely different setup and look and everything i don't even know if it'd be more complicated to just do that all from scratch or what but probably not but like Probably a good bit of it just needs to be figured out and reworked so it's not as clunky. Because, yeah, like how it was, how the website's been has not been super incredible to begin with. From, again, from just what, uh, what conversations I've had with like a few site mods that have, I don't even think they're site mods anymore. There's been, a, there's been kind of a revolving door of site mods. As far as I can tell, so. That might also kind of help speak to how that goes. <laughs> I don't know how, how much work that is and how hard it is to get stuff working, but. And I don't know, I guess, I don't know if site mods even really have anything to do with that. I think some of them maybe, but I don't think they, uh, eventually I think they tried to make it, I don't know, maybe they did, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they eventually had some type of offering, at least for a paid job, if somebody wanted to rework all that, but I don't know if anyone ever did. Oh, you're good, Amber, no worries. Oh dang! Well, heck yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be sweet to see you running it again. Always good to catch those Mario Kart 8 streams. Mario Kart 8's a pretty cool speed game. I enjoy pretty much all of the Mario Kart speed runs, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Mario Kart 8 has a lot of really neat strats and skips and stuff, and just overall really good movement tech. Or at least it's a lot of fun seeing people who are like good at running the game run it pretty well. <clears throat> Been on the grind, heck yeah. Well awesome. Yeah, I'll have to stop in for a stream sometime soon. Be good to see some of that again. I need to watch more people in general though. I think the only people... Like, I haven't watched a ton of stuff on Twitch lately. Um, I've watched a lot of stuff on YouTube, but... I'll still watch people like... Uh, I'll still watch like Liquid Wi-Fi for speedruns and... Like Runner Guy if he's doing his blind Zelda game stuff. And... Uh, and then like... I'll, wait, I'll watch Kit Boga, but Kit isn't a speedrunner or anything, really. <laughs> Kit's, Kit doesn't even game that much, but... Um, watch his stream sometimes. Uh, it's 
Sometimes I'll tune into random people running stupid, like random games that I've run once or twice. That's kind of neat when I like the amount of games that I have run have made it have made uh, like for a pretty good library of interesting stuff to check out when other people decide to run games I've run before. It's always cool seeing new runners and being able to like uh, watch them like stream and get their new runs going and stuff. It's always a lot of fun. Dang. Mostly watch Monkey Ball. Yeah, Monkey Ball's crazy. Monkey Ball's super cool. I really missed out on Monkey Ball. I never owned a Monkey Ball game as a kid, which sucks. Cause, uh, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it, it's, a, it's a really cool game. Very, very good GameCube uh, series of games. Eventually, we'll play the Wii ones, but I have heard things about the Wii ones. <laughs> Yeah, I have a. I try to watch a decent variety of stuff for sure. Usually when I'm not like streaming or something, that's pretty much when those people are streaming though. Like, Liquid will stream at like 3 in the morning for me, <laughs> which is just perfect sometimes because I'm like. That's like half the time when I end streams. I'm like, 3 in the morning, perfect. This is a good time to go to bed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Super Mario Sunshine is super cool too. Super neat. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what I would really say. Um, there's not really a lot of games that I especially watch nowadays like i don't really tend to watch one game over another that much anymore i definitely used to like i used to be really into zelda speedruns and that was i mean even like i, I kind of got out of watching it a lot even before all of the src like all the stale reference uh or srm all the all that like stuff started coming out i was kind of getting out of it before then even but, uh... But yeah, that was pretty much mostly what I was watching a lot of. And there was a good period of time where I'd watch a lot of SM64. And I still watch that now and then, but... I, uh, I got my fill of those games, I guess you could say. <laughs> At least SM64 still kind of resembles what it used to be unfortunate that Zelda like is Zelda still pretty cool but it's like I don't know I feel like if I started watching it nowadays instead of a while ago I'd I think it's super cool because I thought like the Ganondor route was pretty cool and I think a lot of people when Ganondor became a thing there were probably a good amount of people that were like oh this sucks <laughs> but um yeah there isn't a lot that I'm, like, super partial to now, though. I guess Hit and Run would probably be the one I would watch the most simply because I watch Liquid probably more than any other runner. And I think that's, not, like, 90% of the reason why is just because he just happens to stream at a really, like, almost very coincidental times, almost, sometimes, like... There'll be a lot of times where I just barely finish a stream and he just barely starts a stream. And I'm like, this is perfect timing. I'm super tired and I need speed. <laughs> so that fucked it. I'm pretty sure that was the last spare I could get. So, dang. Sorry about all these games that I'm losing. It's just, yeah, it's it's tough. I can get, like, three spares a lot of the time. Like, I could probably get so many more games just with three spares and nine strikes. 
then fucking 10 strikes. It's so ridiculous. Just have to keep up. Keep up the strikes, man. It's rough. Just had licensed garbage as a kid. Yeah, I didn't. I I wouldn't say I had a lot of licensed garbage as a kid, which is kind of sad because I feel like I would have enjoyed some of it. But um, I had I had some decent games for sure. Like I had pretty much most of the Mario Party games, and those were pretty cool. And uh, I played a ton of Sonic Adventure Two Battle on GameCube <laughs> back when that was. Uh, Back when that came out. Played a lot of melee. I wasn't like into competitive melee though. I just played a lot of fucking, I just, I went through a adventure mode like a bit, like a absolute billion fuck ton of times. There's just, it's a, melee is a pretty good game. But never got into it competitively because I just wasn't really ever, I don't know, wasn't a ton of times where I was playing it multiplayer. And the computers suck compared to like actual human players. So I just never, definitely never got into competitive Smash and I suck way more than I used to at Smash now. Like I can, I, uh... Yeah, I just obviously I haven't practiced any of it, so I think that's probably a huge part of it is I just never practiced any of those crazy strats people have now. And I'm not like just good at naturally picking it up, just seeing people play it and be like, oh, that's what they do. So I don't know what's going on like half the time. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to become like a Smash player, at least, you know, like get good enough to may maybe hold a little bit of my own in Smash tournaments, but I don't think I'll ever do that. Maybe Brawl or something someday for the memes. Not even for the memes, like Brawl's a pretty neat uh, scene, but it'd be a little bit for the memes. I don't know if I'd ever try and learn any of the more serious ones or the more... Uh, I don't even want to say more serious because there's some pretty good fucking brawl players out there, man. But, uh, yeah, I, like, honestly, I'd rather just learn some really stupid, obscure fighting game that just nobody plays. <laughs> so then I wouldn't need to spend a thousand years learning stuff for it. I really wish that there were just lots more obscure fighting game scenes. Like, there was one time when there were some net play Smash players that just decided to make a decent sized net play scene for Shrek Super Slam. And, uh, like, competitive Shrek Super Slam. It was pretty great. It's unfortunate that it seems like it didn't last very long. <laughs> but they had a couple tournaments and stuff. Which is kind of cool. And I just wish that were, there was uh, more stuff like that for more obscure fighting games. I mean, there's plenty of fighting game tournaments, I'm sure, that I should just go and seek out. But I probably wouldn't know those games very well. I guess that's what would make them obscure, though. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm complaining about. I should just go and learn some of some small community fighting game or something. I'm sure there's a good amount of them out there. Dang it, dude. <laughs> that is, what, this is the second bear now? In a row? And also over the whole game? If I'm not mistaken, if I didn't forget. <laughs>
Well, that's cool. I threw like five fucking strikes in a row and then three spares and that just fucks everything. Cool. This game's a ton of fun. <laughs> I love having to score an average of 250 that definitely doesn't totally completely take away the fun of bowling. At all. It's like, oh, I fucked up three times even though it's still a completely decent score in any fucking reality. But, you know. If this was any sort of real life scenario. But too bad it isn't. <laughs> we'll have to see what kind of score we get here. But, uh, pretty sure it's not anywhere near good. Yeah, 197, and we can get, what, like 60 more, if that? I don't even think that much. Yeah, we didn't even get the strikes there. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Stop. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> be so sick if I could just like fucking finish this one game though. That would be awesome. Just just this game, that'd be great. this one game that's all I want tonight this this one last one that's it <laughs> that's all I want Looked kind of lucky. Too far to the left. Uh, probably. Yeah. Probably was. Nice. Sorry about that. Oh. 
All right. <laughs> That sucks ass, dude. God damn it. Okay, yeah. I think this will be my last attempt tonight. Because, yeah, my feet are hurting. <laughs> my feet are hurting. And I'm just getting just the tiniest bit bored of resetting. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs>
pretty incredible. <laughs> a bit. Let's go. Nice. That hook was at least beneficial-ish, it looked like. So, it's nice. Dang, dude, really? That's super lame. Dang it, man. All right, well, I'm going to call it there tonight just because yeah, my feet are hurting. <laughs> I've been streaming forever, too. So, yeah, um, we'll be back with this, back to finish this League Night, and hopefully the next week of League Nights as well. Um, hopefully we'll be doing that next stream and then get on to the second tournament of three in Advanced League. We're uh yeah, we're moving through this. We're getting 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 there slowly but surely. So um yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice to uh get it'll it'll be nice to eventually get through advanced league and then start the pro league tournaments because that's I think with the pro league tournaments, with those having I think different oil patterns and stuff, like the pro oil patterns or whatever i think we'll pretty much just have to figure out what throws work on those patterns really and that'll be something but anyway um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get going though guys thanks for hanging out today i'm gonna go ahead and yeah good to going tonight so thanks for hanging out it was good it was good talking to everyone it was a actually a really nice stream today so that was awesome Despite my feet hurting, it was a good stream. So, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll hopefully be back. Let's see, what is it? Hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow, maybe later tonight, but probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, and yeah, hopefully, I don't know if it'll be in the middle of the night like it was, like this stream was, but 
we'll see. We'll have to see when I'm feeling up to it, so. Yep. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace out.